Back here on Community Connection, we are live from Haines City. Did you know that this city hosts the annual Ironman Florida Triathlon, drawing competitors from all over the world? And that's just one of the many details that makes this city unique. We are back at Lake Eva Community Park, where the beautiful surroundings offer a peaceful break from the hustle and bustle. Polk County has seen a lot of growth over the last few decades, and Haines City is leading the pack with over 12,000 people moving to the area since 2023. More cars are on the road, and that's why the city is hoping a new commuter train project will encourage people to ride instead of drive. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelicia Bruton visited Haines City to find out how this project could bring some relief to hundreds of thousands of people. The Polk Transportation Planning Organization says traffic has increased nearly 40% on Polk County roads in the past decade, making it the fastest growing county in the region. Officials are hoping adding a possible sunrail stop will help reduce traffic and promote tourism in the area. Uh, grown upwards of 100,000 people in Polk County just since 2020. They knew they were growing, but they didn't expect it to happen this quickly. More traffic leads to more congestion, which can cause more crashes. Polk TPO's State of the Transportation System report shows there were more than 80,000 crashes between 2017 and 2021. And on average, two people died in traffic crashes every week. There's a, a number of road projects underway in, in the central and northeastern part of the county, but, but Sunrail would be a way to complement uh, a lot of those road improvements. Good morning, board members. The Florida uh, Department of Transportation introduced. is working with Mayor the county Jerry to Lepasha. extend the Sunrail service, adding stops in places like Haines City, where ridership is expected to be substantial. We're estimating approximately over 280,000 riders per year could use the service. Former Mayor Roy Tyler says he's seen Haines City go from cow pastures to communities dotted with homes. This, this is my little family, obviously. A village surrounded by people traveling to places like Disney World or downtown Tampa. I-4, 27, Highway 60, 1792. That's not local traffic. But if that traffic is going to turn into local traffic, it's going to take investment in the area's infrastructure. At some point in time, one has to choose where to invest your resources. The Sunrail expansion could cost the state, county, and cities millions of dollars. Tyler estimates it's a $500 million cost for Haines City, but he says it's an investment in the future. Where we are in the explosive process of growth, it's hard pressed for me to believe that we can't afford not to get. This expansion project is still in the early phases, but they'll need to do several transportation studies to qualify for federal grants to help pay for this project. In Haines City, Angelicia Bruton, 10 Tampa Bay. Thanks for that, Angelicia. And as Haines City continues to grow, the potential for new commuter train stops could significantly impact traffic and travel options for the folks out here. And of course, we will keep you updated on all of this as it develops. For now, I'm going to send it back in to Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins. Bobby, I had to dodge a couple of